Spanish better. Something is said with which you disagree. Please call us during the program in order to help us balance comments. And now McCollum Wellness Radio. In my life, they came down. You ready to jump in anytime? You know the things just weren't right. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. This is Dr. Duncan McCollum coming to you from KSCO. And it is McCollum Wellness Radio. And I am not in Santa Cruz. I actually am in Park City, Utah right now. I wish I could show you what it looks like outside. It's beautiful, but it would obliterate my screen. For those of you that are on Facebook, for those of you that are on KSCO listening right now, thank you all for being here. So the title of today's show is uh, Hidden Infections in Your Health, What's Causing Hidden Infections and the upstream cause of these. Now, I want to tell you a story. I've been playing a new uh, sport called pickleball. I don't know if any of you played, but it's really fun. It's uh, kind of a cross between ping pong and tennis, but done on a smaller court than a tennis court. But at any rate, it's a very fast, fun game. And I was playing with uh, three friends the other day. And we went up, after we were done with the game, we decided to go to the local pub and have a beer. And as we were talking, it became apparent that every one of us playing was over 60 years old. Also, every one of us, all four of us, had a life-threatening incident in the last year. So the older we get, the more our mortality could potentially hit us. So one of the people uh, had been diagnosed with cancer this year been completely treated and is this condition has been handled because it was caught soon enough. Another gentleman had a, had suffered a stroke and uh, he had lost control of his the right side of his body. However, uh, he's got it back now and he's back on the pickleball court, which is very exciting. And then the fourth one or the third guy with me had um, suffered a heart attack. And so he had some treatment for that. And then uh, those of you that listen to me know that I suffered from a uh, ruptured appendix in November, which of course put me in the hospital for uh, five days. And you know, as you know, uh, ruptured appendixes are deadly if you don't get it taken care of. So in all three of those incidents, or all four of these incidents, Western medicine came to the rescue. So there's no doubt that Western medicine is um, the best thing that we can do for these kind of dire situations. Yeah, the question is, what allowed our body to get to that place in the first place? What could have been done to prevent it? Um, what, what can you do right now to preserve your health, to improve your health, and to uh, eliminate as much as possible the deadly trio, which are responsible for um, chronic disease? And uh, I'm in uh, Salt Lake, excuse me, I'm in um, Park City today for a certain reason. One of the people uh, who had been suffering from cancer, we'd had uh, a specialized, what's called a cone beam x-ray done of the complete jaw. And um, there was a root canal that had failed. Also another tooth that had failed in the back that was leaking into the sinuses. Um, and that particular tooth is the exact acupuncture meridian that goes to the same area that the cancer was found. And um, also where she had her uh, wisdom teeth, there were these four cavitations. And I'll go into that a little bit more. Cavitations are basically hidden infections inside the jaw. They can be where you had uh, extractions of wisdom teeth or other teeth. It can be where you have a root canal. Root canals um, basically become a dead piece of uh, material in your body. It's like having a cadaver part in your body. Many of you may not be aware that every tooth in your head has seven miles of canal in it. 
seven miles of pulp in that tooth, feeding the tooth and keeping it live. When that tooth dies and you get a root canal put in where they dig out the root and put in some clay or whatever they put in, they can't possibly fill the seven miles of canal um, that would normally be part of a live tooth. So those canals become condominiums for molds, um, bacteria, viruses, and um, all kinds of various things. And Oftentimes at the base of these or at the, at the extraction point, um, these um, things can uh, accumulate there and cause basically a little condominium of toxins that will um, not expand in themselves outside of the jaw, but they leak out their feces basis, basically called mycotoxins. And those mycotoxins can leak into your um, lymphatic system, or they do leak into your lymphatic system, going down through the neck into the breast tissue, and then um, various other tissues of the body, and ending up going into the heart where they're extracted through the bloodstream, through the liver and kidney. So this lymphatic system that we have, which is five times as much um, fluid as our blood system, um, is a super sewage highway that's taking all the cellular debris and these mycotoxins, these hidden infection toxins out of our body by way of the heart, then the liver and the kidney, lungs and skin. So um, we came out here to, um, even though the, the situation has been handled by Western medicine's you know, best approach, it was still necessary to go upstream and find the hidden source of the toxicity that was causing this in the first place. There's an incredible um, video that used to be on Amazon that you could watch. You can't get it anymore. It's been taken down. However, you can order the video. It's called Root Cause, R-O-O-T-C-A-U-S-E. -E, and you can get that off of Amazon for 15 bucks. If you have any question about um, having very strange health conditions that just won't go away, like fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, just chronic fatigue, muscle aches and pains. Um, if you've had genetic diseases turn on like multiple sclerosis, cancers, colon problems, colitis, Crohn's disease, all these type of things are a sign that your body's not able to do what it's supposed to and that's heal itself. So the three hidden causes of um, the, the deadly trio that we study with Dr. Dan Papa, who is um, leads the group of doctors that I study with. And the three upstream causes are heavy metals. We've talked about this a lot. Those are mainly um, lead and mercury. Um, also, you can have cesium, cadmium, um, aluminum, all these things that we get from our environment. A lot of people use deodorant that has aluminum in them. A lot of people take Tums that have aluminum in them. There's so many different sources of this aluminum. You cook in aluminum pots and you cook um, things like tomato paste and tomato sauce in it. Well, that um, acidic um, tomato sauce is going to leach the aluminum out of the aluminum pot that's gonna get into your food, get through your body and get stored in things like your brain, your fat cells, your kidneys, your livers and make you sick. So being able to eliminate these toxins out of your body is very important. Um, knowing that you can stop or really reduce your um, current exposure by really studying. Now you can find all this in my book, Turn Back Your Biological Clock. You can find it on Amazon or um, New Hope for Sciatica that you can find on Amazon. But um, you know, simply eliminating the toxins from your environment, from under your kitchen sink, the kind of detergents you use, the deodorant you use, this, the um, bug sprays you use, uh, the garden fertilizers you use, all this stuff, so much of it commercially made is incredibly toxic. If you take a look at, as an example, the amount of football players that have Lou Gehrig's disease or ALS, and you know this is, um, pretty pretty much thought, I'll say it that way, to be caused by the fertilizers they put on those 
perfectly green lawns um, before the games. And then these guys are heavy, sweating heavily, breathing heavily, being pounded into the uh, grasses as these fumes are coming up and getting into their, their nose, which has a direct pathway to the brain through this little teeny permeable plate called the cribriform plate. Or it gets into your circulation system, goes through your body and gets into your brain through the, so it's called the blood brain barrier. So a little bit later, I will talk about how, uh, what we can do to help tighten up the blood brain barrier and your leaky gut syndrome, which is the same um, basic lining that protects your, your body from toxins. So, you know, I've talked about this before, you put food in your gullet, goes down and then the, it eventually exits out. Well, the friendly microbiome, the bacteria that we have in our gut, 100 trillion bacteria in our gut help devour the food and break down the food substances that we consume into stuff that we can absorb and actually use as nutrients. Without the friendly bacteria in our gut, we would starve to death. We can't live without bacteria. Imagine um, when the microscope was first invented back in the 1800s or 1700s, whenever it was, the first guy, and I forget his, right, his name right now, who looked through, it was Sir something or other, who looked through that microscope, saw those wiggly things in the water, man, and he started a war against bacteria and microscopic and the individual, in, you know, invisible uh, bugs. And we've been running from invisible bugs for the last two years. Can't see them, taste them, hear them, smell them. You don't know if they're where there or not. This drives up your um, inflammatory response because it drives up your fight or flight mechanism. So, at any rate, what I'm really wanting to um, get the point across today is to look for upstream toxins that can be causing all of the chronic diseases that you are all suffering from. So, as I sat with this group of uh, individuals. I knew um, that you know one of them was quite overweight. He's the de gentleman that had the heart problem. So when deadly toxins come our way, when invading bugs come our way, and they and they and if our immune system is not strong enough to fight it off, it is going to attack that part of our body that is the weakest. In one individual, it was his heart. Another, the brain. Another causing cancer, me, my appendix. So now what's really interesting is, you know, I had had for six weeks prior to my appendix rupture, I had developed tremendous sciatica. Now made sense to me, I broke my back when I was 12. I barely have any disc left. You can barely see it with a microscope on an X-ray. Anybody who comes into my office and has a disc that skinny, it's very logical that that could be causing the sciatica, but maybe not. Because even though I went to some of the best chiropractors I know that helped, um, but my problem didn't go away. I was taking the anti-inflammatory, the supplements that I knew. But what ended up happening is after an adjustment from a good friend of mine, I stepped off out of his office and have felt incredible incredibly sharp pain in the right side of my groin. And I knew immediately that my, rep, my appendix had ruptured. A hidden infection was causing so much inflammation in my lower abdomen on the right side that it was causing the sciatic pain to be, um, or the sciatic nerve to be compressed by the infl inflammatory soft tissue. The soon as that appendix ruptured, my sciatica went away. Taught me a lesson I've learned so many times before, but oftentimes forget. Our body knows what to do. All you have to do is uh, give it a chance and it will show you the way or it will solve your problem. So uh, I want to take a short commercial break here. I'll be back in just a couple minutes. We're going to listen to a brand new commercial from a patient of mine, John, and then another patient, Lauren. So I'll be back in just a couple minutes. Dr. McCollum, and I have a patient, John, here. And John heard us on KSEO and came in to try the $49 TRT special. After a couple of treatments, you uh, started to feel something pretty tremendous. Originally, I, I heard about it on the radio, and I was a little apprehensive, but I came in and got got the treatment and miraculously i mean immediately i got released and we're talking about three years of 20 okay your mic is off 
uh, bring up the music as soon as the commercial's over. It changed my life. I mean, I changed my life back because I was able to uh, function and do things and not be in excruciating pain and get some sleep. And I'm going to continue to come back and I highly recommend it to anyone who's been suffering from chronic pain. Great. Thank you so much. Call Dr. Duncan McCollum. McCollum. You're live. Okay. Well, I hope those of you on Facebook could hear that. Usually I'm in the station running this. But um, anyway, this gentleman, John, uh, tremendous knee pain. Um, he uh, came in to the, for the $49 soft wave special, the TRT, tissue regenerative therapy treatment. And uh, he'd not been able to work for a number of years. Uh, one treatment on his knee and he felt tremendously better. Within three treatments, he's out looking for a job again. And that was a great, a great success story. We see these every day in our office with the stem cell special. So I highly recommend you do come in for the stem cell treatment because hidden infections do get into the joints. They do cause, that inflammation does cause deterioration of the joint. So the sooner we get to it, the better. All right, so back to our show. Um, I'm talking about upstream hidden infections and upstream molds and upstream chemical or heavy metal um, exposure or accumulation that can cause chronic disease and chronic illness and even be fatal, the results of which can be. So um, I was talking about uh, the teeth earlier and how root canals can fail. And if you have root canals, and chronic disease, if you've had tried everything and it's not working, I highly recommend that you get the video root cause off of Amazon and watch it. I do have it in my office. You can come watch it in my office. I don't lend it out because it's the only copy I have. And I don't know how long it will be around. So um, the second individual had suffered a stroke, um, exposed to uh, one of the the elements that were causing people to be sick in the last couple of years, on top of already having some health conditions, anytime there is a invader, a Ford invader in our body, just like a successful Ford invader, I don't really want to talk about what's going on, you know, in Europe, but if you are going to succeed in taking over a body, you have to go down the path of least resistance. And that's what opportunistic anaerobes do. Opportunistic anaerobes would be the unfriendly bacteria, molds, um, viruses, uh, parasites, um, which can get into our body through almost any exposure, um, you know, through our skin, through our nose, through our mouth, eating, breathing, um, all these things, the clothes we wear, the fruit we touch, all these things that we get exposed to, and we are exposed to enough bacteria every day to kill us dead if our body didn't know how to fight it. So our body knows how to fight it. We've been on the planet with a synergistic relationship with every single element, animal, bug on the planet since time immemorial. So it's survival of the fittest, right? And we've survived a long time. So what makes some of us sicker and some of us stronger? It's number one genetics, but uh, number two genetics, because 95% of the reason that our genes turn on, bad genes turn on, 95% of the time it's environmental exposure to toxins, such as molds, heavy metals, and um, hidden infections. So heavy metals, molds, and hidden infections, the deadly trio. So 95% of the time we get a genetic disease turned on because it was turned off. And then that one day it just turned on, like turning on a light switch. I was doing great. And then boom, I wasn't doing great. Okay. Well, what turned, what triggered your body to turn on? So those genes turned on because of toxins inside the cell that got into the genes and switched them on. Bad genes turn on. Okay. In the, in the, um, presence of toxins inside the cell that normally the body would get rid of. And as long as that system's working well, it's great. Perfect example is the vacuum cleaner. You're sucking up the floor, your vacuum 
fill a container fills up and you dump it out and you keep vacuuming. That's the way a healthy body works. But what happens if that vacuum filter gets plugged, the little foamy filter in there gets plugged and you don't clean it? Pretty soon it's not sucking up junk anymore and you're not able to dump it out of the vacuum or out of your body. So you can clean that filter or as my staff usually do, they let it blow up and I have to go buy a new one. So don't let your body blow up by not cleaning out and detoxifying your liver and your kidney and your brain. Um, this is something that we can help you do at my office. So the number one, number one of the three, there's three stressors in life. Number one is the chemical hidden infections. I'm being distracted by some, something very beautiful. <laughs> hidden infections, molds, and, and um, heavy metals. So that's pretty much on the chemical side. Now, we also know that 278 chemicals have been found inside the bodies of children or of babies not even living outside the womb yet. So those chemicals come down four generations through mom's umbilical blood, as well as the heavy metals that I've talked about, even the mold scan. Now I'm out here in um, Park City right now. It's not as wet and damp all year round as it is in Santa Cruz, especially when you live up in the mountainous part of Santa Cruz under the redwoods, but mold is everywhere. Mold gets in your body and it takes hold and it's very hard to get rid of it. So heavy metals we get from the teeth, the, the metal in our teeth, if you have silver fillings, 50% of that's mercury. Even the gold has metal and mercury in it. So oftentimes when you have gold put over an existing mercury filling, which happens more than you want to know, a galvanization occurs, which lets out toxins that get into your bloodstream, into your brain, into your soft tissue of your body, into your liver, and it can affect your health dramatically. So if you happen to be at the, one of the George Burnses of the world, which means you can drink all you want, smoke as many cigars as you want, and live to be 105 and just not want, wake up one day, maybe you don't need to worry about it. But if you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, maybe even in your 90s, and you're feeling incredibly, you don't feel vital, you're feeling tired, you feel like your get up and goes, got up and went, then there's a good chance that you can help your body by improving the internal environment of your body. <clears throat> if you imagine a family of let's say 10 people, two parents and eight kids, if that family's arguing amongst itself all the time and the brothers and sisters are fighting and you, know, you can't even get out of the house without a black eye, that's what it's like when your body's toxic on the inside. You wake up in the morning, before you're even out of bed, you're exhausted. Before you're even out of bed, your heart blood pressure is high. Your um, digestive system's not working well. It's shutting down. You've got asthmas or allergies. Your skin's erupting with various type, type of things like eczema or um, any of those other skin diseases. So versus the family that all all play together, they all sing together, they have a great time, the kids all help each other around the house. That's the family that goes out and they have a blast, man. They're loving life, they're enjoying everything versus the first family that's sitting arguing, nobody wants to go anywhere, the parents are stressed. That's a sick body. When your body is fighting itself internally, you are not gonna be able to enjoy the rest of your life. So you can get by for a while. And even George, the George Burnses of the world can get by for a while. What happens is inside our body, we have a basically three different cups that can handle toxins. Let's say this is the large one. We have a small one and a medium one. If this is the size of your cup and I'm holding up a cup for use on the radio, just a 16 ounce cup and I'm putting the bottom third saying if that is the size of your cup, one third of a 16 ounce glass, soon as that fills up with toxins, they start to pour over into your bloodstream. And now you have toxins, water sol soluble, destroying your joints, destroying your organs, destroying your brain. These are the kids 
that uh, in the family that by the time they're 20 or even younger, even as a very young kid, they are always sick. They always have the sniffles, allergies, um, chronic um, disease, even brain dysfunction, like, you know, the uh, special um, kids that have, you know, they're in the spectrum, so to speak. Their brain is not functioning well at that point. Well, I can say that these kids were probably perfect, developing perfect under the D there is no bad gene there is no alzheimer's gene it's not that's not there okay so what happens is enough toxins get in the way of the of the uh, brain's communication with all of the senses from reading to speaking to smell to body function to mobilization that it alters the the brain's way to communicate with the body just like that family of you know, 10 that are arguing all the time. So and in case in point, some of these kids are the most brilliant people we've ever met. They find their, they display their brilliance in different ways because that's the, the human body and the human being and the human spirit has one goal and that's to survive. And if they can overcome enough of the obstacles and actually become, you know, and, and, and embellish their goal, these, these people are amazing. So, what if we were able to clean up the environment we're in? What if we're able to clean up the vessel that we are um, borrowing right now while on while inhabiting this earth in a thing called a body? The spiritual beings, you know, we have goals, we have plans, we have, you know, um, desires. And if you wake up in the morning and just like the family of 10 that are battling each other, um, you're not going to get out the door very happy. You might not even wake up. You might not even get out of bed that day. Maybe you're on 10, 8 to 10 medications to handle the stresses that are, your body is going un over or going through, you know, versus the other family you pop up out of bed. They have to go to games, go to school. They're going to go have fun. They're going to go play music. They're going to go play games and things like this. So I think that you could draw a line in the sand today. And if you wanted to, you can uh, call my office, McCollum Family Chiropractic, 831-459-9990, or go to mccollumwellness.com and ask for or download, download the neurotoxic questionnaire that we have there. If you send it in complete, once we receive it, we will, my office will call you and I'll, I will do a 30-minute complimentary consultation with you to find out if there's anything that I can do to help you enjoy your life better or survive better, or overcome some of the obstacles in your life. But you've got to fill out the neurotoxic questionnaire first, or of course, if you come in, I'll charge you my regular office charge. So uh, this is an offer to you as a gift to you for listening or being online on Facebook right now. You can go to mccollumwellness.com, fill out the neurotoxic questionnaire, or call my office if you're local, even if you're not. Um, 831-459-9990 and um, fill out the neurotoxic questionnaire, send it in, and we'll find out if there's anything I can do for you. If not, I'll let you know. Um, a lot of it comes down on your willingness to change. People hate change. However, your body loves change. Your body, we, the reason that we are surviving and the reason that all of our cohorts on this planet, every bacteria, virus, um, animal, fish on this planet survives is because it's been able to overcome the stresses of the environment and they're multiple. What's happened to um, us in the United States anyway, where since World War II, um, we've been able to be so comfortable in this country that we haven't had to work very hard to eat. We're able to eat what we want, when we want, however much we want, wherever we want, with whoever we want, whenever we want. And that has caused us to get fat and lazy. As a point, the United States is the most obese country in the industrialized world. 60% of the people in our country are, are obese or overweight. Obese means that you're 25% over your expected body weight. There are 160 countries healthier than, oh, excuse me, actually, um, there are 46 countries healthier than us. We're rated 47th in the world for health. 
We take 50% of all the drugs made in the world and we're only 4% of the population. So, you know, as um, Einstein says, you know, insanity is doing the same thing and expecting a different result. So if you've been going down a path and you don't feel like your health is where you want it to be, maybe it's time to make a change. Um, maybe it's time to look at some, you know, read my books, turn back your biological clock or New Hope for Sciatica, to fill out the neurotoxic questionnaire and come into my office or have the consultation with me and see what we can do. You know, the, the majority of the people won't do anything. The majority of the people are going down the path more traveled by, you know, Robert Frost's story is I came to a fork in the road and I, I chose the path less traveled by and it made all the difference in the world to me. So if the mainstream medicine were causing the people in the United States to be number one in health, stick to that route. If you're happy with your health, don't change a thing. If you're one of the 80 million Americans suffering from multiple chronic diseases, according to Michigan State University, if you are one of the 60% of the children in our country suffering from a chronic disease, 60% of the children in our country suffer from at least one chronic disease. When I was a kid back in the dark ages, it was five to 6% of the kids suffered from a chronic disease. 60% of the people in our country are diabetic or pre-diabetic. These are ridiculous uh, numbers considering we are the richest, wealthiest and country in the world. And we have the most amazing science in the world. If we had all the money and all the science to make us healthy, don't you think we should be healthy? Or do you think all of those, uh, that money is being put into fine um, potentially so big drug companies can find ways to cover up our symptoms. You know, Dr. Um, Jason Fung, who I interviewed um, out in Arizona a while back, said, if you could make a, a medication that didn't kill you and didn't cure you, how long would you be on that medication? The answer is forever. So how many medications can you make that doesn't kill you and doesn't cure you well, the average 60 year old is on about 12 medications. I'm not on any and I'm 66. Now I started off the show talking about the four of us that had all had a uh, life-threatening condition. We're all over 60. And in the last year, four out of four, hundred percent of us could have potentially died because uh, of whatever happened in our life. But because of Western medicine, it saved us. So emergency medicine, uh, was able to save 100% of us. Now, that's not always the, the case, but that's pretty outstanding that we have such amazing medicine. However, when you take a look at um, chronic disease, we don't rate that well. We rate 47th in the world for health, even though the same medicine system that is saving us, that saved 100% of me and my friends, is not handling, I can't say cure, the condition of so many people, they're putting on a medication that actually furthers their condition. So if you're one of those people that wake up in the morning and wonder why you don't have the energy you used to have, um, wondering what you could do to be healthier, um, thinking that, well, I'm on, the, I'm on the downhill side of my life, then perhaps it's time to make a change. In my book, Turn Back Your Biological Clock, I talk about a gentleman who woke up 63 years of age, almost dead. And he made lifestyle changes that I spell out based on Dr. Pompa's teaching and the other doctors that meet with me and Dr. Pompa every week to discuss different cases. You could learn how to turn back your biological clock. You can learn how to turn back chronic disease, of course, you're always going to want to check with your medical doctor before you change anything. Um, but you can do the neurotoxic questionnaire that I recommend in there as well. And at least I can point you in the right direction if I think I can help you. But you have to be willing to make a change. Again, people hate change. And um, 
I'm gonna uh, take a second here, but I'm gonna do my own commercial because it's too difficult being abroad or away from the radio station for me um, to have uh, David play the, the commercials, even though I know he's really good at it. Since I am doing Facebook Live at the same time, it, you guys would miss out on the commercial. So I'll talk about um, a woman who is 83 years old, who found her way into my office a couple, three, four weeks ago. And um, she was complaining of losing the feeling in her feet, especially her right foot. And she'd also had pain in the right foot. And she was losing her balance because she could not um, tell where her feet was. And she tried many different things. So she came in and um, we started doing the, the TRT, this tissue regenerative therapy machine on her, now being called Softwave. She did the $49 special and came in and said, I think I feel a difference. So we, she was willing and we signed her up for a course of care and she's been improving every week. Um, we started doing chiropractic as well because we found that her lower spine, the nerves that go down to the feet were also being involved. And at 83 years old, you've more than likely had some low back injuries that could be affecting the nerves that control all of the function of the lower extremity, like muscle strength, limb position, hot, cold, numbness, tingling, um, vibration, and all that stuff. So if you have something in your low back stopping the brain from communicating to the foot, and you're ignoring that, um, then you're going to get marginal results. It would be like being in a boat and you have a leak in the boat, and all you're doing is bailing the boat out with like without <laughs> plugging the hole in the boat. So she agreed to try the chiropractic. This week, um, the person who does the stem cell, Luann, who does the treatments in our office, brought her up and said, uh, this patient would love to tell you about her results. And so the whole staff was up front and she said, I can walk without fear of falling. And, you know, when you saw the excitement in this 83 year old woman's um, face and in her voice of saying that she didn't feel like she was having to start to look for a caretaker, that she was in control of her own life again, that's pretty tremendous. And then she said, and I'm not losing my balance anymore. My balance is coming back. So, you know, that's just doing one thing out of the three types of stress. I've only talked about the chemical stresses today, but now I'm moving into the neurological stress or the physical stress. So she had, um, and it could have even been chemical toxicity deadening her nerves from her low back down to her feet, as well as pressure on the nerve at the low back where it exits the spine going down her feet that were causing those nerves not to communicate with the brain, causing her to have this um, feeling of not being able to walk without falling over or lo losing her balance. So we eliminated both of those causes or started to eliminate it and um, she's got her function back. Another woman um, was brought in by her boyfriend. This uh, boyfriend's I think about 80 something years old and she's I think 82, 83 years old. She came in uh, in a walker um, a month and a half ago, not a walker, but using a cane. And her right knee was tremendously bent to the side and in tremendous pain. And so I sat down and talked to her and found out that she'd had a cortisone injection the week before, no, the day before, which unfortunately, um, Cause it makes it so that I can't do the treatment or stem cell treatment or the tissue regenerative therapy treatment on her. When you have the steroid injected, we can't do it for 30 days. So she was very sorry, upset. Um, she, the first time she did the steroid shot, it helped. The second time uh, she came back, um, she actually showed up two weeks ago. Um, the steroid shot, it's been 30 days to the day she showed up and says, I'm ready for your stem cell treatment. She was brought in by her boyfriend's daughter, a very lovely woman uh, who is kind enough to, to bring this lady in. And one treatment on this lady, and um, actually this time she came in, she couldn't walk. She did not want a wheelchair, so she had her assistance from this woman. And, and um, she had a, one of those canes with the four little rubber prongs on the bottom for balance. 
She didn't have a wheelchair. We stuck her in a rolling chair at the front of my office and rolled her all the way back down to the TRT room and treated her knee. Well, she was excited. She felt a little bit better. We rolled her all the way back up to the front, helped her into her car. And uh, a week later, she came in and she was walking with the um, cane all by herself. And uh, what excitement to see in somebody's eyes when they're getting their life back. So we walked her um, back down, all the way down the hall into the stem cell treating room, had her second treatment or third treatment, I guess it was. And she came walking up happy as a clam, getting her own life back. And this wonderful woman who's helping her, um, you know, thank God for people who are willing to help people out. And if you want to feel good, go help somebody. It always makes you feel better. If you're down, go help somebody. You'll feel better. So um, that's my stem cell commercial. I guess what I'm wanting to do is let you know that it is worth doing something different if you want a different result. You know, um, I see such amazing miracles almost every day in my office. I would say every day, every day, you know, as a chiropractor and any of you that go to chiropractors um, or who are chiropractors, we underestimate the power of one adjustment. If you've gone to a chiropractor, you know, sometimes like the first time I went, I was carried in, I was 20 years old. I'd been flat on my back for three weeks in excruciating pain. Two friends carried me in. I don't even know their name today. I wish I did because I thank them. They had to hold me up in front of the x-ray machine because I couldn't stand on my own. Dr. York, my chiropractor, or the one they took me to, asked me when I broke my back, floored me because I'd been in pain for eight years. And he showed me where I have a crushed vertebra. You can still see it today. Any of you patients want to see my spine x-ray, you ask me and I'll let you know it. I barely have a disc left. So when I thought in November that the sciatica was going to cause me to be crippled for the rest of my life. All I had to do is look at that x-ray and believe that was the case. However, the hidden infection, which was not physical, but a chemical hidden infection of some kind of toxin inside my pancreas, excuse me, appendix, when it ruptured, the sciatic pain went away. I still have very little disc. I still have incredibly degenerative disc disease in my low back, but I've been treating it once to twice a week for, 40, for 50, how old am I? 54 years. I've been adjusted at least weekly. And I'm out playing pickleball. It's not a slow man's game or a slow person's game. So um, <clears throat> at any rate, it, it's, you know, you have a chance to make a change. You can decide at any time in your life to make a change. Um, you know, I know some people that um, unfortunately, this uh, gentleman does not believe that it's, you know, he's in c control of his own life. He thinks that everything's being done to him. And as long as he continues to feel that way, he'll not be able to make the changes to go enjoy his life. You know, there's many times a day I feel like I'm the victim of my own cause, you know, and oftentimes I have to, you know, remind myself that it is a decision away that I, I can make a change and I can make something happen. So just to kind of, we've got a few minutes left on the show. Um, you know, I want to, number one, let you know that you can find my, you know, all of my broadcasts on the Column Wellness Radio podcast. So if you just go to Spotify or Apple Music, whatever, the Column Wellness Radio podcast, you can email these to your friends, you know, get them up, you know, copy the URL or whatever it is, and send it to your friends who need to hear this information. Um, all these on Facebook are saved. Um, we do put them up on YouTube, but I'm slow at the draw on that. I'm working to become more technical at 66. I'm glad I can even turn the darn thing on, computer on. But um, so you can find me um, at on YouTube, Duncan McCollum. We have probably at least 100 videos on there by now. I have so many more that I need to get up there. Um, you can go to mccollumwellness.com and find out about what we're doing. You can download the neuro, the um, neuromuscular, no, the neurotoxic questionnaire. 
send that in once we get it. And only once we get it, will I um, offer you a complimentary consultation? Because I can't, you know, I don't have enough time to walk people through that. I'm, our office is incredibly busy. And we're very happy to help as many people as we can, but I need to try to do it um, in a way that makes it um, efficient for us. So please fill out the neurotoxic questionnaire first. Um, if you haven't done the $49 uh, stem cell special yet, just do it. Call 831-459-9990. I have to say that since I've been on the radio for the last four or five years, and since, um, you know, I know a lot of you feel like you're, you've listened to me so long, you know me. A lot of people come in and go, God, there you are. I've listened to you for so long. I'm so glad to be here. But, and, but we are getting some people with some very, very um, chronic diseases in. And um, unfortunately, sometimes it's almost too late or I don't feel like I can help them. So don't wait till it's too long, too far gone, you know? And you know what too far gone is? Believing you can't get well. So if you believe you can get well, remember the greatest um, physician that ever lived lives inside of you. There's nothing more powerful than your body's innate intelligence. All we have to do, according to Dr. Reggie Gold, one of the greatest chiropractors who ever lived, he said, our bodies need no help. They just need no interference. So all we need to do is remove interference, whether it's physical, which of course would be anything broken, cuts, gashes, chiropractic, pinched nerves, chemical, 78,000 chemicals dumped into our environment right now. Um, including glyphosate, which is, you know, causing horrendous problems today, sprayed liberally on our crops. Anything, any grains grown in the United States that aren't organic have glyphosate sprayed on them on purpose. Glyphosate is Roundup. Stay away from the grains. Um, stay away from um, non-organic dairy. It's filled up with hormones, pesticides, and herbicides that the cows are eating the grain that is grown um, with fertilizers, chemical fertilizers and sprayed with glyphosate and they're given hormones so that they produce more milk and those hormones get uh, cross into the blood, into the milk and get into um, our bodies, oftentimes causing young boys to get what's called gonochomastia, which means they start to develop breasts because they're getting too much hormones, too much estrogen in the uh, milk they're drinking. So stay away from um, non-organic milk. Don't drink 2% um, milk or whatever it is, non-fat. Anything that doesn't exist in nature, stay away from. They process those proteins and those fats in the, that milk, and it's not natural. Our body doesn't recognize it. It causes more harm than good, causes inflammation, and allergic reactions in the body. If you're eating food, which most of you probably are, unless you're a breatharian, then you wanna make sure you're eating organic food. Go to the farmer's markets or go to the, in Santa Cruz, we have incredible um, amount of organic food available to us in the grocery stores. Make sure that if you're drinking coffee, you are drinking organic shade grown coffee. The United States has, the coffee um, regulations in the United States is next to nothing. So many coffees that other countries won't take or allow into their country are brought to the United States. And then we're drinking coffee that's got mold and chemicals in it. Um, my uh, ex sister-in-law was in France and she went up to a coffee shop and said, could I have some organic coffee? And the barista said, you must be from the United States. All we have is organic coffee here. We don't allow inorganic coffee. We sell it to the United, or it's sold to the United States. So all of these things cause inflammation in the body. And inflammation, I was talking today about chronic inflammation, upstream causes of toxicity cause chronic inflammation. Chronic inflammation causes chronic disease. You can do something about it. You just need the right tools. You can't dig a post hole with a, with a hammer. <laughs> Might take you a while. You can't build a house with a post hole digger. 
So if you want to be healthy, you need the right tools. You know, need to know somebody know, knows what they're doing. So many people um, tell me that they do keto and they're doing what we call dirty keto. They're not getting the results they need. They're making themselves sicker because they don't know what's the key that Dr. Papa and the doctors like myself that work with him um, teach is diet variation. If you don't vary your diet, then you're not helping it. So if you're stuck on one kind of diet and you don't change it, it, it might work for the first few months, then it's gonna backfire on you and you're gonna get sick. So um, here I am out in beautiful Park City. We're about to go for a, a drive on some of the most beautiful roads in, in the world uh, up through Provo and um, kind of see what it looks like out here. Still, still winter, there's not any leaves on the trees and there's snow everywhere. We, it's been snowing on us, but um, I appreciate all of you listeners out there. If you uh, listen to KSEO and enjoy it, I highly recommend that you reach deep down in your pockets, write a check for five bucks to KSEO or more. If you have a favorite uh, radio show, um, support it. Um, these guys at the station are amazing. They work tirelessly to keep this free radio station open. If you haven't ever been to KSCO, uh, you should go check it out. It's the only remaining station of its kind fashioned out of after a 1940s RCA um, sound, sound show or sound recording booth and there's none other on the one other on the planet but it isn't a radio show anymore so we have a uniqueness of having free radio in santa cruz that broadcasts um on the web as well as fifty thousand watts so um appreciate ksco um we appreciate you and uh okay so i've been given the one minute warning um thank you very much for listening you can do something about it get the neurotoxic questionnaire, call my office, talk to your other chiropr your chiropractor about what you can do, get the $49 special. Um, it's never too late for a new beginning. You can only quit once, but you can always try again as many times as you like. So don't quit, try again, get your health back. We'll see you next week. Thank you so much.